Hello, it is Dr. Render. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make freezing effect in Blender. At first, we will create ice spikes that will cover default cube. For this, we will use geometry nodes. Pretty new feature added in Blender 2.92. Click New to create new geometry nodes for cube. Input and output nodes are automatically created. Geometry nodes also displayed in Modifiers tab as one of modifiers. Add point distribute node. It will act like particle system, placing randomly some points. When added between input and output, it will replace cube. So we will add another node, join geometry, to have origin geometry and new one combined. Now let's create spikes. Add plane in object mode and subdivide it in edit mode. Now select outer verticals and press Shift Alt S to transform it to sphere. Extrude plane couple of times along that axis and form spike. Make sure that spike's origin located on the middle bottom of spike. Now add point instance in geometry nodes. It will say what object or collection of objects to use instead of points. The spikes are too big and have the same size. Add attribute randomize. Type keyword scale in attribute text box and set scale scatter between minimal and maximal values. Now the problem is that all the spikes stick out at an angle of 90 degrees. We need to add some variety to it too. Just add another one attribute randomized node and in text box type keyword rotation. Then change type of data from float to vector and operation from replace to add and set minimum and maximum. When spikes look how we want, we will set its distribution. Create new texture and set its type to blend. With this texture and attribute sample texture node, we will control spikes. In mapping text box, type keyword EV map and as a result type name for new attribute. It can be anything except keywords like scale, rotation and others. I type density and this attribute is literally a picture of recently created gradient texture. And now we will connect this attribute with scale. Add point scale node, change the type to attribute and in factor box type the name of attribute. Change operation in attribute randomized node to multiply. Now when we will go to UV map editor and we'll move UV map along X axis, the spikes will grow from top to bottom or in the opposite direction after mirroring map. We can also set this transition by setting color ramp in texture properties. Unfortunately, it is impossible by the now to animate color ramp in geometry nodes. In the rest of the video I will set materials for spikes and cube. The spikes first. Create new material for them. Add texture coordinate and noise texture nodes. We will need no more nodes for this material. Link noise to roughness 
and set base color to some bluish. Then set transition to 0 0.8 and connect noise to transition roughness. That's all for Spikes material. For Cube it will be more complicated. Add texture coordinate and two mapping nodes. The second one will move a sphere gradient texture, which you should add next. And noise texture will create frost on cube's surface. Mix those textures in lighten mode and pick the size of sphere. Colorams will help to paint frost blue. And the last thing is roughness. Now we can animate freezing of cube with mapping node that controls fur gradient mask. Spike's growth could be animated in two ways. First one with UV maps. It is more accurate and proper way, but it needs a Dawn Anim O to be installed. Special tab for animating will appear by the right side. Make sure to have UVs checked to animate UV. Another way is to use color ramp in texture properties. And we will get such cool animation. That's all for today, thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe please, because new tutorial will be very very soon. Bye!